There are many ways to sort data in Tableau. When viewing a visualization, data can be sorted using a single click option from an access, header, or a field label. But sometimes it can be tricky for a user, especially when they are working on a big table and want the sorting similar to how it's done in Excel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple technique on how we can sort the data in Tableau by any dimension or measure. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Welcome back, this is Kapreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple technique on how we can sort the data in Tableau by any dimension or any measure. So let's first see how it works. So in this case, we have a special request from our customer where we have a big table and user want to sort it by any of these dimensions, that is category, subcategory, or manufacturer, or by any of these measures, which is discount, profit, and sales. So let's first look at these two options. So we are right now sorting by category in the ascending order. And you can see here, all this is sorted on this particular column. Now let's say if we want to change it to manufacturer and we want to see it in the ascending order as well. So you will see this manufacturer is sorted in the ascending order. And now let's say we want to see the sorting by sales. We will simply go and change it to sales and you can see here the sales column is sorted by sales value for all these categories, subcategory and manufacturer. And same way we can do it in descending order as well by simply clicking on the descending order value. Now let's see how we can do that in Tableau. So first of all, I would like to show you what is nested sorting. Well, nested sorted wa sorting was introduced in Tableau version 2019.1. So if you have a look at this particular bar chart, we are showing the sales by category in the descending order. So I have simply clicked it here, and by default, it will be doing the nested sorting. When I click on this plus icon, it will show me the subcategories, and all these subcategories will be sorted in the descending order. By that I mean as like, for example, phones, machine, accessories, and copiers. These are all grouped together under technology category. So all of these will be sorted in the descending order first for this particular category. And then the next one, which is furniture, that will be sorted in the descending order. But sometimes it's a bit tricky because user want to see the sorting similar to what we do in Excel, where they want to sort all of these subcategory in the descending order. And that too, they want a dynamic. So wherever they want to select any column or any dimension or any measure, they just have to click that button. So by default, it's really tricky in Tableau. And if we look at the sorting table as well, so in this case, if I expand the category, subcategory, and manufacturer, so this is what is the default behavior where all of those manufacturers are grouped into one particular subcategory, and these subcategories are grouped into categories. So by default, they will click on this sorting icon at the top of sales. And if I do that, it will be doing the sorting for all these manufacturer first, which are in the accessories subcategory. So that's how the nested sorted sorting works. So if you see here, all of these are sorting first, and then it restarts that for copiers too. So we don't want to do this in this particular example. We want to showcase how we can do it by using these two values. And in this case, we have used parameters. So let's see how we can create it. So I will simply create a new worksheet where I will bring the categories into row shelf and I will expand these buttons to um, show the hierarchy. Then I will bring sales, I will bring profit and I will bring discount. You can use any dimensions or measure just for this demonstration purposes. I am using this one. And I will change the width to full width and I will simply expand it and 
then the first thing I need to do is to create two parameters. In this case, I have already created it. The first parameter is sort by. So here I will edit the parameter and show you we are using a data type as a string and we have added all the values by which we need the sorting to be done. So here I have added category, subcategory, manufacturer, product name. These are all the dimensions. And then I have added sales, profit, and discount, which are the measures. You can add any of those dimensions and measures or based on your requirement, which you want the user to get the sorting done on. You can put all those values here. And I will simply click OK. And the second parameter I need is the sort order. So in this case, I want the data to be sorted in ascending or descending order. So again, I will use the data type as string and the values as ascending or descending. So once we have these parameters created, we need to create our first calculation, which is sort by dimension. So in this case, we are using a case statement where we are saying case statement for sort by condition. So this is where the user will be entering the value from a parameter. So when that value is category, then give me the category as a dimension. When it is subcategory, then give me subcategory, same way for manufacturer and product name. So it's just a case statement based on the selection which user made, we are showing or we are selecting that particular field or the dimension or uh, in this case, we are selecting dimension. So we are just showing that in this particular calculation. Same way we will do the another calculation, which is sort by measure. And again, it's the same thing, but in this case, we are getting the value of measures. So in this case, when the user selects sales, we are then showing sum of sales value. When it's profit, then sum of profit, and when it's a discount, then sum of discount. So again, you can use any of the measures which you want the user to get sorting done on. So once that is done, now we are almost there. We just need to do create two more calculation, which is dynamic sorting and dynamic sorting for dimension as well as for measures. So let's look at dynamic sorting for dimension. So in this case, we are saying if the sorting order is ascending, so the parameter for sort order, if we have selected ascending in there, then we need to use rank unique. So in this case, rank unique, you can also see how what rank unique means. So if I expand this, so it is returning the unique rank for the current row in the partition. So if we have a function which have value 69914, then it will be ranked as one, two, three, and four. So we are giving their unique rank based on the value and then we are saying sort by dimension so we are using it as an attribute because it's a dimension we want an attribute and then we are sorting it by ascending order and if it's not ascending selected in the sort order then we will show the same values but in the descending order for the dimension so that's about dynamic sorting for dimension and then we will create the similar calculation for the measure where we are doing the same thing when ascending is selected in the sort order then we are doing the rank unique by measure so in this case if you see we are not um, grouping or aggregating it because it's already aggregated as sum of that measure so that's why we didn't use any aggregation here and if we are not selecting ascending order then else statement we are showing all the values by descending order so once that is done, it's quite simple then. We simply need to bring these two fields into our row shelf. So when we drag it into row shelf, you will see something like this because it's a continuous field. We have to change it to discrete value and we'll bring it in the front. And this is dynamic sorting by measures. Or this is by dimension. So we need to bring dynamic sorting by measure and I will again change it to discrete value and I will bring it into the front as well. And let's see here, let's expand it for just our demonstration purposes and I will bring the sort by parameter and sort order. I will show you here and let's look at this. And let's hide this so we have a bigger screen. 
so by default we are saying sort by sales and sort order is descending and you can see it here it's already sorting in the descending order let's also let me also remove the tooltip so it's clear so you can see it here all these sales are in the descending order and you will see here dynamic sorting for the measure it will show which one will be at the one two three four ranks right and if i change the sort order by category you will see dynamic sorting by measure change to null and the dimension one is activated and it's sorting in the descending order in this case and you can see all the categories it's technology and office and furniture this is in the descending order right and if i change it into ascending order you will see the furniture is at the top and office supplies and then technology and this way you can select any of these values even if you want to do the manufacturer you can do it that way and also if you want to expand it and you want to use it use product name as an sorting order you can select the product name as well and it will show you in that way so that's how we can use dynamic sorting in Tableau using parameters i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so so you don't miss out on any new such videos thank you we'll see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.